Good morning, everybody. So that's how Chris woke up, chasing down Yogi. Were the kids scared on the hayride when they saw you running towards them? No, they were a little confused, maybe, why an adult was running towards them, <laughs> as excited as all the kids nearby, but they were all right. <laughs> but you did get away from Yogi. I did. Nice. Yes. <laughs> that's right. I was excited about that. <laughs> so we are in a Yogi campground, and we're um, just outside of... Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, so that's right along the Susquehanna River. And so I thought I'd do another day in the life because it's it's been quite a while. Uh, so thank you for joining us and come along for the day. For breakfast, we have scrambled eggs with some uh, green onion, some really lightly st steamed broccoli, and some bone broth in the back there, and that's just, I like parsley and mine, and some lemon juice and a little bit of salt, and some coconut oil. Today is Sunday, so we did watch a sermon this morning. We've been really hooked on um, the church that we went to in Alabama. We were in the middle of a series when we had to leave, so we've actually been watching that to finish out that series because we really enjoy it so much and we love hearing the southern accent and reminding us of Alabama and how much we just love that I mean, Gulf we Coast it, yeah. we really do we really really miss it it's funny every time that you move um, in the RV it was it, you know it was always like double-edged because you felt like um, you're always sad to leave a place and yet usually then you're so excited about the next place that it makes it easier to kind of pack up and get on the road, you know, because then your, your sights kind of change again, and, and that's a helpful motivation. But, yeah, right now we're just, we've really been missing Alabama, so we've been enjoying listening to those sermons from the church that we visited while we were there. Um, Chris is finishing up the dishes. Also, they have, <laughs> so it is Sunday. A lot of people are clearing out of here because a lot of people came in for the weekend, and it was really great to see so many families here at this type of a park where um, people are really just getting away for the weekend, coming together as a family, and really spending some quality time together. So it's been a lot of fun to see. And it, it's also been a lot of fun to see, like, all these yogi uh what, what would like activities and things so I was just looking out the window I mean it, it's just it like it's revitalizing I think being around young children is just it's just rejuvenating so uh, I was just looking out the window I'll show you show you what I saw we have these little uh, at all the different stumps they set up like these little almost like people have like the fairy gardens well, these are like kind of like fairy stumps and they must do programs with it I'm sure because they're all over the park and they probably do like some sort of scavenger hunt thing but this morning there were two girls out here playing and there's a little swing on it you know for where the little fairies here I'll try to show you see the little porch swing there and it's just really really cute and then on the other side I think what they're doing, they did this yesterday too. This is like the busiest campground ever, got a lot right? Going on. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's nice. They really make it nice for families. But they did this yesterday morning. I don't, I don't like to have kids in my shots, but it. I think that's a foam thing, right? It's they did that yesterday where it was like. Yeah, it, it, the foam machine. That yeah, I don't. It was behind the one RV. I don't know. Were the kids running through it or something? I guess they're playing with it. You yeah. know, you saw the one girl, have, they have their bathing suits on, and uh, so they must create all this foam, and then the kids get to play in it. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I know. It's a lot of fun to see them enjoying themselves so much, and it's nice that Yogi Campgrounds kind of offer that kind of experience. It's a lot different than anything that we're typically looking for, just Chris and I, but it's really, really nice to see. Yeah. Okay, there you can see it real quickly. That's the foam coming out of there. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> That's a lot of foam. Man. I know! Yeah, you gotta like, shoot a little bit of foam in the air. No. That's a <laughs> flood. I... <laughs> sitting under it now. Is there? Yeah, there's a girl. A little girl sitting under it. Sometimes the joy in campground living is just watching other people's joy. And these kids are having a great they time. Are, I, love it. I mean, there are some all stars out there just flying through this stuff. I'm trying to keep it fuzzy so you can't really see faces. But... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They started that thing up and it was like bees to honey. The kids were just <laughs> running from all over to come get get in the stuff. Bees to honey. <laughs> It's time for me to do my workout too, so I'm just clearing a little bit of space here and uh, got myself all set up down with a blanket. I just use a blanket, so I thought I'd just show you the exercises that I do really quickly. Someone asked me like over a year ago if I would film my workout, and I did it at that time, but I hated the way it came out, so I never published it. Then like a month ago, I filmed again just to see, and I did it completely differently, and I'm not sure if I like it or not. So. Um, Ladies, if you do want to see my workout, do me a favor and let me know in the comments because I will try to work that out if it's, I will try to work it out, my workout, and yeah, in a way that's actually functional, but only if you actually want to see it. If not, don't worry about it because trust me, it's turning into a huge hassle for me, but uh, anyway, so let's, uh, today is arms. I usually, I have three separate workouts that I do and I just rotate through them each day. Okay, so I'm ready to start my workout. I'm just going to show you the couple of exercises that I do. Um, if you, uh, I actually really start with a lot of stretching, so I already did that. But then, since this is my arms, the first thing I do is my triceps, which I just use my body weight for. So, something like this, and then you just do dips, okay? I do three sets of 14 each. And you want your bum to kind of come all the way down to the ground, but not actually hit the ground. <laughs> okay, next up are push-ups, which is just every girl's favorite. Now, I can't do these perfectly. I'm just going to totally admit that. In my early 20s, I could. Now, I just can't anymore. So, <laughs> I try to do, I do one set of regular, uh, 14 regular push-ups, and then I do two sets of girl push-ups with my knees down just to make sure that I'm working the right muscle group and not you know and doing good form so um, yeah that's what that looks like <laughs> Next up, I like to just do my biceps, and I do use these, uh, this is the only thing that I really use the bands for. Chris uses them a lot more than I do because he needs, obviously, a, a lot more re resistance when he's working out. But I, most of the time, like you saw, I'm just using my body weight. So you just step on these bad boys, and again, I do three sets of 14. And when I get to the very last one, I hold it as long as I can. So those are the three core things that I do for my arms, and I already picked my blanket up, but that's okay. I'm going to add one more thing, and it's just going to be my shoulders. So I'm just going to go like this, just bobbing them up and down for pretty much as long as I can stand it. And usually I just kind of start counting and just keep counting and counting and counting, and yeah, do it as long as I possibly can. We seem to have a situation up in here, okay? So what happens is it's so easy when you're living at the beach and, you know, for two months we were in Alabama and I was like, oh, it's so easy. We wear shorts and tank tops and flip-flops and that's it. That's all we needed for like two straight months. And then all of a sudden it's like, you you know, you come back to Pennsylvania and the weather here is really iffy. We have a couple days in the eight, like where it'll be close to 80 and it's nice and warm. And then a day where it's only gets up to 60 and we're freezing. And so we've ended up with, I forgot the type of clutter that creates when you have the change in seasons and how it just gets amplified on an RV because you have such a small space. So Something has happened in this corner mm. that needs to be taken care of. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know. Because, <laughs> what is it, like eight I, pairs of shoes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. At least it's an even split, though. I think I've got just as many over there as you. Of course. <laughs> Naturally. That's not I a given. I yeah, that is absolutely a given. <laughs> but you can see it's like from sandals. Like yesterday I was wearing sandals, and then the day before I was wearing my boots. It's just kind of nuts. So these all need to go uh, Lift up. <laughs> see, how, see how easy that works? <laughs> <laughs> These all need to go up. 
these all need to go away. Mm. And this is Chris's. Hey, be gentle. I know. I got nice shoes. Yeah, right. <laughs> um. <laughs> for, the, for the record, I asked her if she wanted me to move those away. For the video. And I was like, well, it's just. <laughs> My dirty I, socks. You know, I, I know. I just came in from a run, so she's really. Yeah. <laughs> she's sacrificing for this one. <laughs> That's life. Yeah, That's, yeah. I mean, he wears socks with his shoes, you know, so yeah. And then when he comes in, he takes them off. So yeah, you, you got to deal with it all. So I'm going to put the rest of this away mm -hmm. too, but it's just a funny little observation we have going on here. Oh, you know what else I want to show you? I also need to sweep a lot because I feel like staying in the woods. Do you feel like this, Chris? Like mm. being in a campground in the woods like this, we end up with a lot more... We're tr just tracking in a lot more. Seems like we do. I feel like we're sweeping more often than like when know, we're down at the... Even you at would the think beach. that you would have more trouble with the sand, and yeah. we did have a lot of sand for sure. But the easy thing about the sand is, before you come in, you can just rinse your feet, so it's kind of gone like that. I don't know. I feel like the little twigs and leaves, like little tiny pieces of leaves and stuff. It's a that's lot a good point. Yeah, we don't have a hose hooked up here to rinse our feet off before we come in because it's no. sometimes chilly out there. Yeah. yeah, and it's our shoes, like right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's better not point. Our feet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we don't want to hose our shoes off. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Okay, so what I do want to show you though is I don't think I've ever shown you how we keep our broom. We, we do actually have a broom, which is a nice thing. We don't have a vacuum because we got rid of all the carpeting, but our broom is in here. And you just oh, leave my shoe boxes empty. Where, where the shoes are supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it's just this, you know, because Chris loves a good bungee cord. So it's just this bungee cord. It keeps it in place, then you can reach it. And, Good reason. Right. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Here, here it comes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there's our broom. And then, yeah, this just keeps it because we used to put it in without the bungee cord. And then when we, on travel days and stuff, then it would kind of slip back out of reach. And Chris would have a little bit of a struggle to get it out. So he now just bungee cords it to the, I guess this is a piece of the frame. Yep. Yeah, that piece of aluminum there is just part of the frame. Yeah, and then it just sits back there and is easily pulled out. We can use it, and then it's stored under there as opposed to being stored in your living space. It's just, I don't know, I, I like that better for kind of dirtier items. Anyway, so yeah, I, I'm just going to straighten up for a little while, as you can tell. We are also going for a drive today because we are kind of, um, how would I say, we are kind of casing another campground. Doesn't sound too shady. How do you case a campground? Well, I don't know, because this is the first time that we're actually doing it. But we thought we're looking for another campground in the area. Um, so next, it's kind of a long story, but the reason I'm wearing my glasses, it all hinges off the fact that I'm wearing glasses. And the reason I'm wearing my glasses is because I have to wear them for two straight weeks. I'm not allowed to wear my contacts because I'm getting LASIK next week. Chris just had it done a couple weeks ago and loved it. So next week is my turn. In the meantime, so next week we'll be moving down towards Philly again for me to have that done. And then we're going to be coming back to this area afterwards. And when we do that, we would like to, you know, stay in another campground. And we usually don't have that kind of option where we're in, in advance thinking, well, where are we going to stay? How much time are we going to put into this? And, you know, this search and all that stuff. But since it's just, it's not far from here, we thought, well, why don't we go case it? Right? All right, off yeah. we go. <laughs> I thought you were wrapping it up. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes well, I'm a little slow. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see up. what uh, we're we're looking at, and we'll sh what we will learn together how to case a campground. First, you drive to said campground and see a bald eagle on the way. That's right. Next, you stop for lunch because you realize you spent most of the morning watching kids play in foam and it is now 1.30. <laughs> it's true. We skirted all our normal responsibilities and now we're starving. Just give into it. No one can case a joint on an empty stomach. True. I mean, just thinking about casing it is making me hungry. We're going to have a lot of information to process. We've got to do it on a full stomach. Then you'll want to go ahead and arrive at the campground. If you have a Prius, <laughs> that would be the preferred mode of transportation. Use that instead of a diesel 
Dodge Ram 2500 for stealth. <laughs> it's looking like there are actually quite a few campers here, but... Tough to tell. Like, so many of them look like they're parked there long term, but they're actually vacant. But they're actually vacant, right. And then... We've never stayed at a Wesleyan no. campground. Oh, it's cute. Look at that whatnot shop. Isn't that cute? In case you need something. <laughs> that definitely said register at the, you know, well. Register okay. at the office? Yeah, okay. Don't worry, we're incognito. Yeah. Nobody even knows we're here. Uh-huh. Okay, there was the pool that you saw. That looks nice. Of course, this time of year, I think all the pools are closed once you hit September. It's just, it, it sounds silly because it's like 80 degrees during the day sometimes, but the nights are just too cold. So the water just can't keep up with that. So, of course, nobody wants to get in it, but yeah. Okay, so nice little campground. It's definitely a family campground. It said no alcohol, stuff like that, but yeah. I don't know. The main thing, what are our main objectives here? To find out if there's cell phone service, right? That's right. Yeah, cell phone and internet are definitely on our mind. Cause we're looking to be working the majority of the time we're here, so. Mm. Oh boy, Chris just waving like he knows everybody. <laughs> I'm going to park. And check your phone? See, yeah, see what the phone looks like. Chris has been a lot busier with work lately, so it, it is really important that he has uh, cell phone service. And oddly enough, at the place that we're staying right now, because it's tucked into the woods in uh, along a creek, it's actually, we have like barely one bar, so it has not been easy for Chris. So he just wanted to check this place first, yeah. since we're actually kind of in advance of staying somewhere, which is unusual for us. What do you got? It look, I mean, I got four bars. It goes between three and four, which is... That's it's really a lot good. better than what we have. Yeah, that's that's plenty. That'll work. Okay, so this is looking. I think we cased it. Yeah, I think we got. This options. has been a successful casing. This has been a successful casing. I like it. Now that we're done playing for today, I think it's time to get some work in as well. So we're off as long as we could. Yeah. <laughs> today it felt like we did, Cheech. Yeah. All right. So Chris is just doing some design here. Yep. Pretty happy. And I need to do self care Sunday, write my article, and then hopefully do some videos as well because uh, I've really gotten behind here because I can't really upload anything uh, because the internet's pretty uh, slow. So because of that, now I have like five or six videos that are just stockpiling themselves. And, and if I don't edit them, nobody will. So I might get to some of those today too. Even though I can't upload them, I'll just upload them when I can. Time for Chris and I to go for a walk. I actually have a lot of pictures that I'm uploading this time for this particular post. I have 12 of them. I usually don't have that many for one post, but um, I'm going to let that go. And Chris and I are going to go for a walk because that's going to take a while to load all of those. And we we like an e a good evening walk, right, Chris? We sure do. All right, so let's go check it out. The, the leaves are starting to change here just a little bit. So let's go get outside for a little while. It is just amazing how much this place has cleared out. All of these spots earlier today were All for the weekend were, were taken. And now Aunt Gladys is sitting almost by her little self right there. But yeah, this was all packed. And also this weekend, oddly enough, even though it kind of warmed up over the weekend, the leaves have really started to change now. I feel like there's a lot more color. Oh, there you go. I feel like there's a lot more color now than there was just even a few days ago.
So, Jim, what are we having for dinner tonight? Uh, tonight we are going to have burgers and braised purple cabbage and a few slices of cucumber and some bone broth. And I'm going to put some avocado on top of our burgers. So, does that sound good? That sounds it for this day in the life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.